My name is Andrew Calway. I'm a reader in computer vision at the University of Bristol. ViewNet is a collaborative project between the university and industrial partners. And the key idea about it is providing information around people. So for instance, uh, your sat-nav device is very good at showing you where you are, but actually provides very little information about what's around you. ViewNet, on the other hand, provides information directly linked to what you can see. So for instance, information relating to buildings or objects, and it shows you that information in its spatial context. So one of the key elements of the ViewNet technology is the ability to pass on information in the context of the physical surroundings. So for instance, if you're in a building that you've never visited previously, you can visualize information that other people have left around, for example, of how to get out of the building quickly. So one of the key applications of ViewNet type technology is likely to be in reconnaissance and security. Uh, my name is Gerhard Heger. I work close protection and event security in London. When we get the contract for a security detail, it needs a lot of preparation. We send the team to the venue, we do some recce on it, if the place is safe, how the place looks like. There is one fixed route that we use when we drive from the airport to the venue and back, but there is always at least one second route. I think that new technology could be a big help for people who haven't been at the recce. That also could be a big help when we have to use the second route because the first route is too much in danger. I'm Walterio Mayol Cuevas and I am a senior lecturer and I do research about computer vision and augmented reality. Augmented reality is uh, enabling you to attach information to real objects and that has to be one of the most significant ways to communicate because it combines the richness of the colors and the textures of the real object with the key information that enables you to understand what that object, what that place is about. In the case of the ViewNet project, we are perhaps for the very first time combining a range of technologies that actually enable you to do augmented reality in many places. The applications are many, from the worldwide global encyclopedia to being able to annotate a single mark on a single door that is useful for forensics. My name is Sarah James. I'm a forensic investigator with an expertise in fingerprints. We go into a crime scene trying to find physical evidence of a crime that had been committed. We'd enter into the first room and systematically work around it, looking for DNA, blood, fingerprints, footprints, fibres that we either need to take away with us, photograph or sketch. We would also be making notes. And these notes are really important. We need to know exactly where items have come from. If I entered a crime scene that I was videoing at the time, it would negate any sketching that I would have to do. In a large scene, you work systematically through each room. Um, now, if we had GPS tracking attached to the video, you would know exactly where you'd been. I'd also be able to tag where a particular piece of physical evidence has come from and have notes attached to that tag. Now this tagging would be useful when we got to court. In VUNET we provide a communication infrastructure in order to provide ubiquitous communications among different users and different environments. So in terms of the wireless communication part, we integrated a number of communication technologies such as Wi-Fi, uh, Tetra, 3G technology. In terms of research, we also try to use location information that is available in ViewNet in order to enhance this communication performance. In the context of gaming, ViewNet technologies provide you with the ability to attach graphics or animations to real physical objects in the surroundings. And that provides us with a powerful framework in which to develop gaming platforms. My name is Paul Diamond. I run Battlefield Live in North Devon. This is a high-end combat game experience. The military training market isn't that far removed from the high-end gaming market. We feel that the product we've got for small arms training is best on the market. And if integrated with a GPS tagging system, could be really something very useful. Having a situation where you've got a virtual tagging and a general who's commanding the troops, you have all of the benefits of the technology for the troop on the ground who can actually know what he's doing, the NCOs know what he's doing, but if you add that to the fact that a commander behind can also see what's going on, 
you've really got something very unique for training. So what the ViewNet project has done is demonstrated that these technologies are ready for real applications. And what we're looking to do now is work with partners to fully exploit this exciting technology.